called up my sister-in-law, Evangelist Yvonne Bowman. I and everybody that's got it today. No more tears. No more tears. Weeping may endure for a night, but ha, joy coming in the morning. I said, I told my husband, my boo, my lover, my good thing. <laughs> but it wasn't always so good. See, uh, you got to understand anything worth keeping is worth interceding. I remember those days when I was going through. <laughs> I felt like it was at wit's end. But see, you got to know what you got. You got to know that you know what God can do. See, I knew that the Bible says that the unbelieving husband is saved to the believer. Why? So I said, okay. Lord, I don't know if I can tolerate and go through some things, but sometimes we think we holy and in that. See, God start having to deal with me. See, a lot of times when we go through situations, you understand, like the kids say, Mom, I got a situation going on. Come on. I had to tell God, I got a situation going on, God. Yeah, 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 so right. since I got this situation going on, and you my father, and you died for me, you love me so much that you hung, suffered, and died for me, so I got a situation going on, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that man. That husband that you gave me. And I'm not throwing in a towel. Many times I felt like throwing in a towel, but God. My husband always said, I'm going to only have one wife. And he spoke that thing over me. He kept saying that thing. I'm only going to get married one time. I only got one wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't move if I wanted to because the head had been spoke. The head said I got one wife, so I stood the, I had to stood the test of trial. I would go through some things. I would lay on that floor. Don't you know that the, the tears would fill up the wells of my eyes? I would cry. I would have to see. I said, I can't go no more, Lord. And every time I say I can't go no more, Lord, he and he said, you need to get more love in yeah, yeah. I said, more love, Lord, I can't love no more than I'm loving. Right. He said, you need to get some more love because I, I got a godly love for you. Yeah. How can you yeah. ask me to do something for you and you can't tolerate nothing? Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So I have to say, okay, God, I'm going to stand in the gap for my husband. I'm going to stand in the gap for my children. I'm going to stand at my feet to see I can't give up. The enemy trying to take me out, but the devil and his death is a liar. It ain't a I said, I'm playing with the enemy. I have to stop getting sick and tired by being sick and tired. See, you got to understand when you call to ministry, it ain't about you. It ain't about you. And I remember my apostle telling me, you know what? I'm going to give you a license, but I'm not going to ordain you till you keep on interceding and you stand in the gap. I said, not if you hey. Then I start saying stuff like, wait, well, hold on. I'm going to meet Christ for myself. Why can he tell me that? I start making excuses, but hey. I stood in the gap and I tell you one thing. Guess what? It was going to come to pass whether I threw in the tower or not. And I would have gave my good thing away. Because guess what? That's my boo. That's my man, my lover, my husband, my good thing. I would have gave this heart. Somebody else would have been enjoying what I got. The devil is in the answer to liar. And the truth ain't nowhere come. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to know what you're going through. And you know that you know that you know that you know the word. See, it ain't, a, it ain't always easy. It ain't always easy. But see, you got to know that you know. Oh, 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 I see my friend in the house. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Lord, 
did we stand in the gap? Did we? Did we? Did we? We stood in the gap. And I tell you, it came to pass. I look at my man, my husband, my boo. I thank God every day. Because he, this morning, when we got up, he said, baby, I pray for you more than I do myself. He was broken in spirit. He looked at me and I said, baby, I said, why are you crying? And then I said, oh, oh, we've been made to do it for a night. But joy, <laughs> but joy. I said, baby, joy is here. Joy is coming. Joy is here now. See, you understand what I'm saying? See, a lot of times we got to not give up. He that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. See, we want microwave stuff. I said microwave stuff. And that's what you're going to get. It's stuff. Things don't always come fast and easy. You got to get to see. You got to know that you know that you know. If God said it, if he said that the unbelieving husband is saying to the believing wife, you got to know, you got to believe it. Without a shadow of doubt, I'm a witness. I stood in the gap and I tell you, I love you, baby. I thank God for my husband every day. I pray for my husband every day. No weapon form against us shall prosper. It's not going nowhere. You got to understand what I'm saying. I love my children. Sometimes we go through things. When I thought about the No More Tears revival over years ago, and next year going to be a decade, I was saying, when I had that revival, I would say, I'm going to surprise my mama with a birthday thing. I had all this figured out. You heard what I said. I said, I had all of this figured out. But in June, my mom died. And I was like, Lord, I I don't know if I can do this no more tears revival. See, a lot of things we go through. It's not about us. I had to go ahead on and go through with the no more tears, not realizing that another month or so, two months later, my mother passed. I had to stand in the gap because a lot of us going through things. We look be losing our loved ones. We going through some stuff, but you got to understand. You got to stand unconditional. You got to love and you got to work Father's day. Because let me tell you something. It's not about you. It's all about Jesus. I don't care if our love force has gone on. We got to stand in the gap for the family. Because guess what? The devil is, is as a roaring lion. He's not even a lion. He got he a toothless lion. He don't even have any teeth. He can't do nothing unless you give him permission yeah. to do it. That's right. See this word, I was going to go up there, but the Holy Ghost said, stay out. So you got to allow the Holy Ghost to lead and guide you into all truth, because it will. And I just want to tell you, on the way coming here, I got bit by a wolf three times. And guess what? I said, ooh, Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I had to do this. I shook it. I remember Paul. I shook it. I said, nothing wrong against me going to prosper. Then on last night at the hotel, the power go up. My husband like, oh, Lord. I said, I ain't worried about that because I'm cool. I said, because guess what? We are warring women. I stood in the gap. I said, I will not get hot. I said, Jesus, you are on board because the enemy will try any and everything to get you sidetracked. So you got to understand distractions come. But it's up to you what you're going to allow it to do. You got to understand if you're going to allow the distractions to get you off track. Well, guess what? Something wrong with your walk. The strong bears the infirmity of the weak. See, a lot of times what we do in my closing, because I like to be obedient to time, because I'm going to tell you, the strong bears the infirmity of the weak. We'll say stuff about what, how we love and yes. how we did but when it comes down to standing come on we got a problem yeah. see we women we are emotional beings yeah, yeah, yeah. we are so emotional come on. don't you know god ain't worried about your little emotions right. he ain't thinking about your emotions the word gonna stand like it or not take it or leave it 
if you want something, you go after, after yeah. it. Yeah. You stand, you stand. Even if you got to be like the matrix and wave yeah. when they're throwing out the ducks like that. Be the matrix. Yeah. Do what you got to do. But you stand. You understand? If I can be kidding it for me, he yeah. can do it for you. Yeah. If he did it for me, yeah. let all you found, he can do it for you. Yeah. Whatever you're going through, you, whatever you've been crying about, yeah. it's over now. Greater is coming. As a matter of fact, greater is here. And so you know, so you might as well wipe those little tears. <laughs> Just let you know, I come to tell you that it's over now. I come to tell you all those things that you've been going through that seem so hard. You got to get out of that frame of mind that you can't go no more. See, that's what the devil tried to tell you. I can't go no more. I can't take this anymore. You got to understand. Yes, you can, my sister. You can go some more. You can go some more, some more, some more, and some more. Because God said it. If he said it, it shall come to pass. I remember one day at my closing, we were going through, my sister and I were standing in the back. Back there, hi, my sister. That's my sister right there. Hallelujah. Came all the way down from Terrytown, Louisiana. Love you, my sister. I knew you were coming. All right, my husband. Thank God for it. But I'm going to tell you, if God said it, I am a witness in the house. When God said it, it shall come to pass. But see, you got to know. You got to know it's not about you. Get out of you. Know that God is able to do above anything that we can ask for. And I want you all to be blessed. Be blessed. And be blessed. Weeping may come. Leaving may endure for you. But you got to understand, but that's but joy. See, it's a conjunction. So you got to understand when it say but joy, ha, it's let you know you can have it if you want. Go after it and be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.